Hey everybody, welcome to another round of Kanji Plays, and today we are continuing with our crossover campaign with him and Steve on One Stop Cop Shop for Marvel United. Um, as you all know, Season 3 is in full effect, and Steve and I did a uh, buyer's guide run-through of all the content um, for the, uh, presently, right? Presently, that's, that's available, especially, we wanted to wait until they announced the all-in before we dove into it, but we did one last night. Um, but we're going to continue through our crossover campaign that was uh, that was basically made by the the entire campaign was made by Dom, which you'll see him uh, in the chat from time to time. But he is also going to update the map once three once season three delivers, and we'll continue with it. So it's going to be incredible. If you want to see what the campaign map, the wonderful map that Dom created, um, it's linked in the description below, so you can go there, check it out, download it, and he's given you multiple different ways to be able to pull the campaign in yourself. You could print each on its own page and then just kind of put it all together. You could do one big thing. Um, he's done a really great job building out this campaign and I think it's incredible and it works, it's worth giving him a shout out about. Uh, hey, Greg. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Dom. There's Dom. <laughs> so if you see things in the campaign, ask him about it. Um, I know a few people have already completed it, but uh, we're taking our time going through it just to make sure everybody gets some good entertainment out of it so <laughs> it's incredible so before i begin i want to say thank you to my patreons my youtube subscribers and if you're neither just coming in here to hang out on this lunchtime stream welcome thank you and welcome as well uh <laughs> i am not unstoppable i have been stopped <laughs> so <laughs> hey steve um but we're going to continue on this uh this wonderful campaign that we're going through as a joint effort and uh we're going to check out the map and see all the fun that's so you've already seen all the bgg information i don't need to show you all that again so we're going to get down to the table all right so here we are at our lovely table that we're going to get into to play through i'm take it's time for to take on the juggernaut and unlock the juggernaut so uh i may die uh but you know the sacrifice will be worth your enjoyment to see me die so let's see where we are on the campaign map and that is the juggernaut which is not the map um, but we will go to the map itself, which is here. So there's a lot of X's. Uh, we're on episode 53 of this run through, <laughs> you know, running through all this. And we've done a lot. We've lost some heroes. We've gained a lot of heroes. And it's been an amazing time. This is a great campaign to go through. We're just crossing off what we did. So for me, if you notice in the beginning, you automatically have access to fight the Juggernaut, but we avoided him like the plague. Well, today is that day where I try to take him down. This is a hard fight. A hard, hard fight. So um, we're, I'm going and bringing in first class to make it thematic. So it's going to be three members of first class, Beast, Marvel Girl, and Cyclops. Uh, because you've already seen first class Iceman and a first class Angel done by uh, Kim and Steve on other playthroughs. So we're going to be going after the Juggernaut. It is time. Ah, all right, so let's take a look at the campaign map. I'm so nervous. Um, so our campaign map's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. We've got a big roster of unlocked heroes uh, that we're going through. But like I said, we've we've KO'd a lot of a lot of really great characters along the way. Um, but we'll try to you know we've we've got more fodder <laughs> for the time being. Um, as you can see, um, uh, Kim and Steve did an amazing win against Onslaught last week with Warlock, First Class Iceman, and Nova. And I took down the Brood Queen with Namor, Hulk, and Winter Soldier. So we've unlocked the pathing to the two the two megas, right? Um, the big mega one of the Phoenix Five Dark Phoenix battle has been fully unlocked, and we unlocked Silver Surfer, so that's there. And with the um, with the accumulation of the uh, Reality Stone, we have now unlocked the pathing to the Black Order and Endgame. So I think that's incredible. But we still got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, still a lot of villains to take down. Kingpin's still around. So we, we still got a lot to do. And Steve and I have been talking about it. And we're like, we're so enjoying this campaign. We could take them down and just then just kind of keep going. But we're still working through the details of that. It's just been... Uh, uh, it's just going to be amazing. All right. So let's talk about Juggernaut. So Juggernaut has eight health no matter how many characters you play. That lets you know how hard he is. Um, his special rules, when a hero is KO'd, Juggernaut doesn't activate his BAM, instead draw another monster playing card and play it face down in the storyline, burning through the deck. His BAM ability, deal 1 damage to each hero in, loca in locations, plural, that Juggernaut occupied this turn. That means the starting location too. So 
um, you'll get busted. So he's basically running through you and running through locations like the Juggernaut do. Uh, on an overflow, if one or more uh, civilian or thug tokens can't be added to a location, deal one damage to each hero in Juggernaut's location and then draw another master plan card, add it face down in the storyline. So, yikes. This could be an instant KO factor um, for somebody. So we have to be very, very careful of what's going on there. And this is a super tough fight. Uh, let me get the chat back up because I saw some stuff pulled up that I want to check out. So uh, we got, hey, Dom, great on, uh, great on this campaign. My friends and I play it, and we love it so much. Thanks, man. Agreed. Great work, Dom. Uh, he said, I made it to bring joy, uh, to bring myself joy. I'm glad it did that to others, too. It's a great, it's a great production, Dom. Great work. Which uh, new villain do you think should be the end game of the S3 map? Galactus, man. It's got to be Galactus. It's just got to be. He's He's got to be the, the big bad at the end of S3. Uh, so it's going to be incredible. All right. We're here for lunchtime stream. We only got an hour. Let's let's dig into this. Um, so I've grabbed some a little bit thematic uh, locations for this. We've got Xavier School, uh, Institute for Higher Learning, the Hangar Jet, the X-Jet, uh, Warrior Falls, Mirror Island, and Hala. So... The only ones that really don't match are, are uh, Hala and Muir Island, but the others are definitely very first class related. And I've tried to add these uh, things to the bottom where we have Cyclops and Gene are yellow and Beast is blue, just to help you distinguish a little bit as they move, because I haven't painted any of these minis and I hang my head in shame. But you see the Juggernaut is set to that. He's got eight health, we've given him the dice for that. So let's get his threats out. And we could zoom in, take a look at these threats. Yeah, Null definitely needs to be part of Maximum Carnage. Has to be. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, first threat, uh, Power of Ciderac. So, when taking damage, heroes in this location take one extra damage. We'll put that on your island. Next one. Uh, as long as one or more Avatar of Ciderac is in play, Juggernaut ignores one damage. We'll put that down at the school. Then we'll do... Um, if heroes start their turn in this location, treat any special effects on their cards as blank this turn. We'll put that over at Warrior Falls. Then we'll do, uh, when taking damage, you take one extra damage. We'll throw that over in the Hangar Bay. Um, and then as long as uh, the Avatar Ciderac, um, we'll put that, I don't freaking know. And then the last one is Seal of Ciderac. Um, uh, the Seal's over here, so let's put the one other one over so we got them all set. Um, I usually roll for where Juggernaut ends up, but in this playthrough, he can actually KO your entire party in one go. Um, so I'm going to start him up here. And being very thematic, I'm going to start them at the Institute for Higher Learning. So that's where it's going to go. We're going to shuffle his deck. Yeah. Uh, the, Maximum Carnage, uh, the Maximum Carnage expansion for S3 is the best value by far. By far. It, it's, you get so much, and it's so amazing. Ugh. Now only if we could get Lizard and Shocker. <laughs> if we get those two, I will, I will be super happy, and, you know, the, the, the Spider-Verse stuff will have a full closeout. Ugh. Whoa. So we'll just shuffle these up. Of course, you know it's going to be either the three. He's going to draw three and hurt all of us. That's just, that's just how... My luck is on this game. Or he'll draw a 4 or a 5 and still hurt us. It will never be a 1 or a 2. <laughs> no 3s, no 3s, no 3s. It's going to be, a, it's ne it will never be a 1 or 2. It will always be a 3 or something that hurts us in some way. So we're going to shuffle up Psych and we're going to draw. What do we got? We got a move and a punch. We've got double star. And we've got a star. So that is his starting hand. Boom, boom, boom. Then we got Marvel Girl, a.k.a. Uh, Jean Grey First Class. <laughs> it's going to be a three, man. It's either going to be a three or move to the location with the most heroes, and bam. It, 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 it is what it is. All right, so uh, she's got a move. She's got double star. Okay. And then she's got a star. Okay, so we're going to be clearing threats pretty early on. And then, uh, finally, we're going to do... 
first uh, first class beast. No special abilities coming out. It's kind of kind of shocking me. All right, so we've got oh there we go, brilliant student. So we've got to move the star and a special ability. <laughs> it's gonna be a four. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. It's it's not gonna be a one or two. Uh, a wild and double star. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting play. So let's see. All right, you ready? I'm telling y'all, it's going to be. It's going to be a. It's either going to be a three, move to the here, move to the location with the most heroes, or a four or a five. Boom! Hey, a two! <laughs> Look at that! A two! So he's got a two. Wow, I'm lucky. So two, bam! Crimson cause uh, Cosmo armor. If any Avatar Sidorak threat card has been cleared, put one of them back in play in the next counterclockwise location with the threat. So cool, cool, cool. All right, so one, two, bam. Bam says, deal one damage to each hero in locations Juggernaut left, entered, or moved through this turn. So nothing happens there, and nothing happens. He doesn't drop anybody. That's a fortunate card. That's a very lucky start. All right, so Cyclops, draw a card. So Cyclops is actually going to put down his... He's going to put down his double star. And to do that, he's going to put one star on the Avatar Ciderac, and then he's going to rescue one civilian. Then it's going to be Jean Grey's turn. Double wild. Uh, I think we need to do this. She's going to put, she's going to play a... I think she might play her double wild for what I want to do. I got a plan for how I'm going to play this out. So she's going to do a uh, her double wild. She's going to put one star here. She's going to move. And then she's going to put two stars here. So the reason why I'm doing this is because of this. At, there's another uh, Crimson uh, Cosmo armor. And I want it to come out so that I can clear these two, and then we can just hit him straight out. Alright, so that was a star, move, star, star. Now it is Beast turn, and he's got a double wild. Um, now he's got star athlete, which will give him a move, a star, and then he'll have a star there. So let's do this. He'll do... Move, wild, and then triple star to get rid of this. And that's gone. Then it says, you may punch in this location. So, pow, and hit that guy and we're done. Pretty decent start so far. If that second one comes out next, I'm going to clear these two. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, what's next for our villain? Three and a bam. So here, the, here we go. So three, one, two, three, bam. Deal one damage to each hero in location Juggernaut left, entered, or moved through. So she's going to get hit. Uh, we'll do the wild. I mean the star, sorry. Um, Cyclops is going to get hit. So we're going to do the other star. Put that at the bottom. And then he lands there. Wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, reverse, 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 reverse. I forgot he reverse runs. He reverse runs. Um, one, two, three. He still lands in the same location, but he moves counterclockwise. Sorry, sorry. Good catch. He did reverse. Um, oh, and he reversed when he started, too. So it would have been one, two. Then, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So he wouldn't have come this way. He would have gone clock. He would have gone this way. So it would have been one, two. Then one, two, three. And everybody would have gotten hit. So everybody gets hit. So thank you. Thank you. I screwed up the beginning. Everybody took a, took a punch to the face. So here's the thing that throws people. Thank you for the catch. So instead of him moving clockwise, the arrow says he moves counterclockwise. So when he started from here, he actually would have moved one, two here. He still didn't drop anybody, so it wouldn't have mattered. But then 
This one came out and he moved three, so it should have been one, two, three, and he'd be there. And that's where he landed. He hit everybody. It happens. Then he's going to drop to, sorry, thanks for the counterclockwise look. Thank you for the catch. I'm going to drop one here and one here. Okay, so now it is Cyclops' turn. <sighs> he had the thing I needed. But it's not, I need to get a beast out of there so I could do it. All right, so he is going to, he's got a star. Let's play this um, precision blast. So he's going to move star and then blast someone here. Then it is Jean's turn. And she will. She's got to move. Let's set Visa for some success here. She will. Move here, clear this. I know it may come back. It didn't work again. The plan didn't work the way I thought it would because they got hit. And then she's going to draw full. Um, and that is that. It's now Beast's turn. Perfect. So he can move and he can clear Mirror Island, but I want him to clear Hala. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, yeah, so we'll do that. We'll do Clear Muir Island, but I don't have enough. So let's let's hit one, two, move. Ooh, that's dangerous. One, two, move, star. And then uh, let's move to another location, shall we? <laughs> uh, we're going to move here. Where I want you to be. All right. Juggernaut's turn. All right, he's moving forward four. Forward four. So one, two, three. Dang it, four. <laughs> Dang it. All right, so then he bams. So he's going to hit Cyclops uh, for that. He's going to hit Gene for that. And then he's going to hit you. And I'm putting... I'll put this one because I want you to clear that but I need you to get back to I'll actually put this one I need you to get here okay so that's his bam then he's going to drop two here uh, one here and one here alright so then it is Cyclops' turn. This is what I was looking for, the Optic Blast. And he has enough to do it. Ah, but Beast will die. He can do it to Mirror Island. He can do it to Mirror Island. So it says, deal one damage to everything else in this location except Havoc and discard all civilians. I wanted to do it here. But I think we got to do it to Muir Island. So he's going to wild move, optic blast, taking you out, discarding these two. That's my wild move. I still have a wild and a star. 
So we'll do star move here for the wild and then we're going to move let's get take down cyclops we're going to move let's get take him down let's see we're going to move him here okay um jean's turn she's got to help hank uh with the double star that's not going to help her in any way. We could do telekinesis, star, or punch in an adjacent location. She can move telekinesis star here. Right? Or, or, she can... Clear here, build back up for the juggernaut. Yeah, 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 yeah. So telekinesis, star or punch in your or an adjacent location. We'll punch there. We'll punch here, and then we'll star here, and then she'll gain an extra card. All right, beast turn. Uh, so brilliant student, which is what I needed. <laughs> So gain a move, a star, or a punch, um, and it's two wilds, so he will do, oh, he could zero and KO beast. <laughs> yeah, this is stressful. So he can, once he starts KOing people, this is where it's going to get rough. So let's, if I clear this now, I'm in a bad way. I could do, I got a wild, a move, and a star. And I want Hala for sure. I need to clear that because that's part of my plan. <laughs> that's part of my big old plan. I need Hala to be cleared. Uh, but I don't know if we're ready yet. I could. I could. I could. Uh, I can only star there, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. If heroes starting here treat any special. Nope, this shuts that down. That shuts that down. I just can play this. That'll sh this location shuts that ability down. So I'm going to punch. And then I'm going to move here. He'll get KO'd anyway. So let let's get him closer to where he's going to go. All right. Whew. Here we go. Move two and a bam. Yeah, move two and a bam, and he's moving clockwise. So one, two, bam, nobody's there. He's going to drop two. Come on, come on. Two. <laughs> so two, one, and one. Okay. So Sykes turn, optic blast. Uh, so he's got a punch, and it would just be a star. That doesn't help. I need to get the moves going. So a move and a double punch. Nothing to... Uh, well... Gene can help Beast clear this to make him vulnerable. So let's, let's do this. We're putting your life on the line, Scott. We're going to move here. Oh, my God. Beast is going down. It can't be helped. It cannot be helped. So she'll go, he'll do this. Putting the villain under pressure. And he'll move to a location. Oh. My soul. Put you there. <laughs> it's the best I can do. All right, Gene's turn. All right, we need to set up Hank to get rid of this.
This could be bad. If he has the other card to bring back the next uh, Ciderac armor, that could be bad. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We gotta set Hank up and come what may. So she's going to move here and drop two. Oh, they'll take one extra damage. I could KO both of them. No, I'll only KO one. I'll only KO one of them. So boom, boom. All right. Here we go. It's about to get real. Ah, ha, ha, four. It hits all of them. We get a double KO. Uh, moving in reverse order. Moving backwards. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. So, bam. Cyclops gets KO'd. So, this goes here. Then... Uh, you get hit when taking damage here is in this location. Take one extra damage. So you're going to get hit with that and that. Uh, I need movement. That. Then you're going to get hit and go down. Put another card out. Um, KO does not trigger another BAM. Nope. No, it does not. It says when the hero is KO, Juggernaut doesn't activate his BAM. Instead, draw another master plan card and add it face down the storyline. So, double KO. So, no, no, no bams. Alright, so then he's going to drop bugs here, 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 here. Alright. We knew it was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen. Beast is up. One, two, three, four. Beast has got a movement, moving a star, blah, blah. Okay, so get on up. So Beast, you've got a double star. So let's do what we need. Let's start, let's start the punching. So we're going to do a star, clear this, which clears this. That was a star, so that was one star. The other star here, a move, and a punch to hit him for one. And he doesn't have any of his armor on, so we're good. We can take that damage. All right, Cyclops turn. One, two, three, four. He's got double wild, punch in adjacent location, and all that other good stuff. So he is going to do this, which will have the double move. One, two, punch this guy, and then punch an adjacent location, knocking him down the steps. All right, Juggernaut's turn. Oh, God, please don't KO Gene. Please don't KO Gene. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, wait, this is a reverse order. She does, he doesn't KO Gene. Ooh, that was close. Okay. So one, two, you'll take a hit, and you'll take a hit. I don't care about the stars right now. Okay, so then he drops two. Oh, he should have been able to move to another location, but that's okay. Uh, too late. All right, so two... One, and one. Now it's Jean's turn. Um, she can't do much. She can't do much. She's got some punches. Let's save that punch. We're gonna do this. We're gonna move here. And get rid of that guy so you can draw to three. <laughs> All right, Beast's turn. 
Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So Beast is going to play that. He, he's got wild move punch and the double punch. So one, two. Punch, punch, taking you down to four. And then you may punch in this location, taking you down to three. <laughs> uh, where's three? There it is. Okay. All right. His turn. Move in four in reverse order, and he does an overflow sweep. So he's moving four in reverse. Oh, wait, in reverse, right? Yeah, in reverse. So he's just going to hit Gene, which is fine, which is fine. So one, two, three, four. Bam, he hits Gene. Um, she'll keep the double punches. She's going to lose this star. And then uh, he will drop two here. One here, and one here, okay? So it is Scott's turn. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. So we won. So we won. We won. So Scott is going to move here, and Scott is going to... So Scott uses one wild to move, and then two wilds to punch down the one. And then he could drop the three cards in his hand. And then Gene's turn. Gamma slap! <laughs> Ba-boom! Gene with the big hit. Four damage on him. Ba-boom! Gamma slam. And we won! Woo! <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I hung on to that one. That's why I hung on to that one. So, we won. Uh, what was his next one? Maybe he played the Ciderac ones. Nope, the what? The last one was at the bottom. It was at the bottom of the deck. That would have brought it back. So, woo wee! That was close. That was close. He this this was nasty. This bottom one here. That was nasty. Uh, one of them had to be the fiver. Move move to the. Oh, both of them were moved to the a location with the most heroes. So y'all didn't get to see that because that was removed. But we defeated him. And what does that mean that we defeated him now? Oh, he is unlocked as a hero. <laughs> so I can sleeve these now and put them into the box. Um, with his, this is the, um, this was the Gen Con exclusive Juggernaut pack. It's all still <sighs> new card smell. So he is unlocked. He's got a starting card. Y'all can see kind of his starting hand. So his starting card is... Uh, protecting the weaklings. As long as this card is face up in your storyline, each time one um, one civilian in your location is about to be discarded, you may take one damage to prevent it. Uh, from there, he's got moving a punch, moving a punch, moving a star, star, wild, double wild, a move then punch and then a punch, a move then punch and then a punch, a uh, double agent juggernaut. What does it say? As long as this card is face up in the storyline, if during your turn you enter a location with a henchman, you may reveal the top card of the master plan deck. He's got Juggernaut Armor. You cannot take any damage until the beginning of your next turn. Two of those, and then he's protecting the weak. So, <laughs> boo. <laughs> so, uh, do I have Grey Hulk? No. I don't have Grey Hulk. Um, I didn't get to go to, I think that was, where did they hand that out at? Uh, someplace I wasn't. So I didn't have him, but I, if anybody knows where I could get him for a decent price, I'll pay for it. I'm not going to pay $60 for him. I'll, I'll, uh, so, sorry. <laughs> but uh, if anybody knows where I can get him for a decent price, let me know, and I, I wouldn't mind picking him up. But we won, so let's take a look at our map where we, leave, where we are now. Let's take a look at the map. Juggernaut has fallen. All right, so taking him down gives us four points and gives us two keys. So we've got more keys than we know what to do with, so it's time to start unlocking stuff. And I'm thinking, Steve, that uh, we unlock Jubilee uh, as one of them, but we could talk about it later. Um, so I figure we can unlock her so we can get all the, all the, all the core X-Men fully unlocked, and then we'll see where it goes. But yeah.
Good win, good win, good win. So that is our uh, one hour stream uh, that y'all got to see us finally take on. Stop being afraid. <laughs> I was afraid of the juggernaut, but we took him down. And uh, it'll be good now that he's a playable character. <laughs> so it was the only space because uh, Don did the Don did the map um, before they started doing the exclusives for Grey Hulk and Juggernaut, so it's not on this map. But I'm sure he'll add it to the next map for an unlockable area. But for right now, we just said if we beat him, we unlock him. So it was it was amazingly fun. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, what's coming up next tonight? I'll be playing Hoplomachus Victorum as Virago, uh, the Amazon warrior. So. Um, it should be really amazing to see, and hopefully you'll all join me. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Thank you, my patrons, my YouTube subscribers, and if you're neither, just coming to hang out. Thank you as well. Just know that I love you, and there's absolutely nothing you could do about it. See y'all later. Bye bye.